What's up guys? I haven't really done a battle in a long time. So I figured back into the game, doing some more videos, uploading them on YouTube, and letting you guys watch them for your enjoyment. This is Battle Against BM. So um expect some more videos guys. Uh start the comment subscribing back. Peace. Okay guys, for my first battle back here, I figured I'd do a battle with this guy BM. Misnamed him Blaze, so forgive that. Anyway. I'll lead off with this team that I just came up with a few days ago that BM sat for me so that I could use it. It's Aerodactyl, Standard Arrow Lead, Taunt, because I knew the Stealth Rock was coming from the Hippotus. Now, I'm going to use an Earthquake right here because I want to get some damage in. No! I use Earthquake after I Stealth Rock. I Stealth Rock. Because Stealth Rock's a beast. And that I got a free thing in there. I mean, even if he had Stone Edge, I don't think he wouldn't kill me because we're using the Sandstorm, and I also have a Sash. So he Stone Edge is on my Aerodactyl, and of course I'm gonna lift that. And I did an Earthquake on his Retro Rock, and I didn't see any point in switching out right here because he could he could always bring in Hippotus Lin later, and then start sweeping, and then start not sweeping, and then start setting up with that. So it doesn't matter because. If he got a stealth rock in with Potus, I wouldn't have been come in anyway. So look at this guy. I'm gonna bullet punch. Namely because I thought, you know, bullet punch is pro. Plus it gives that nice space power in the with the choice band. I didn't think a Potus would take it that tremendously. And his team is really, really defensive and mine being mainly physical hitters, not a good thing. Now I'm gonna go to my Rapier. Because Rapier is pretty much a beast, and I can take anything Hippotus throws. Now this is where I made a big mistake. He yawns as an avalanche. If I had Earthquake right here, I probably could have KO'd with the stab boosted Earthquake, plus the fact that he's got tremendous attack. Now, the biggest mistake I did was staying in, letting the sleep go through. I should have switched out and seen, because Hippotus really wasn't a threat to me. And the sleep really plays a huge role later on in the game. Now Copper Tops was about to sweep me. So I go, I go to Hollow as he Swords Dances, and that was major, major, major for the, this battle. Right here, I probably could have done Bullet Punched, and it might have KO'd thanks to the Choice Band, but I really don't doubt it. I, I mean, I really do doubt it, considering that, but I figured he would Aqua Jet, so I went ahead and used Super Power, just in case the chance that I would live the Aqua Jet, that I would kill it with Super Power. But he Waterfalled, and it ended up screwing me. I wrote a, um, this guy thinking maybe I can live it and get in a nice hit and kill it, but he killed me with one stone edge, which meant that, that thing is really, really strong. And I don't have really anything to resist it, so I just go over here to Thor, and I'm going to Thunderbolt because I thought maybe if he didn't have Aqua Jet, I could one hit KO it. But it does have Aqua Jet, and amazing to myself, I lived it with 62 HP, which is amazing considering the fact that the other guy didn't, didn't live. But, that's okay. I'll take the live any day. Now, um, he throws in Hitmonchan, and this is where I just start failing. Hitmonchan is going to sweep me like I create, like a stupid motherfucker. Right there, I more than likely should have Thunderbolted. I should have gotten that damage in, at least a little bit. But it doesn't matter, he has Drain Punch, and he's going to keep draining me. No matter how much damage he takes, he's going to keep healing. And he gets a bulk up in... And I'm going to continue sleeping. And he's not going to wake up at all the entire time I'm getting my ass kicked by this Hitmonchan. So Hitmonchan is going to sit there and kill me with Drain Punches. And he never even has to do another bulk up. Now I would have switched over. And I probably should have. It was a, a stupid move of me to stay in. If I had switched over to my Gengar, who is Focus Sash... Destiny Bond. I could have taken out the Hitmonchan really easy and then finished up against his team with um, right Rhyperior because Regirock wasn't going to do anything. Hitmonchan swept me for the rest of the game because I made a really noobish mistake, but I can't really blame anyone but myself considering the fact that I haven't played in over four months, five months, give or take. I haven't played since October or something. And um, I'm going to go to Reiko. Get some damage in, maybe maybe KO with the lucky crit, maybe get some para hacks in, I don't know. I'm just going to have some, I'm just trying to do whatever I can to kill it. And he kills me with the thunder punch. 
And this sucks, because now I cannot touch him. He is going to sweep me, and I had one chance to kill it, and I did not take the opportunity because I wasn't thinking. Gengar has Destiny Bond, and I could have killed it, so Gengar it just gets killed with no little to no problems. You know what, dude? Good game. Uh, maybe battle again sometime. Peace.